bam, bam, bam. We're not done yet. Because he respawns one more and triple damage. Bam! This is so unfair. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny and welcome to Manny playing unfair. This is me playing free for all with the most unfair setup you can run on this particular map, uh, the Hawk with Gauss and Volt. We're going with 75% overdrive damage, 85% drone intensified damage with the microchips, 7.5% more damage from the legendary pilot that increases weapon damage of range 800 plus meters range weapons, which Gauss and Volt is, and we have power man skill for Gauss and Volt with another 25% damage. Okay, so guys, sit down, lean back, and enjoy the show, because I'm gonna get every single kill on this map. Almost, almost every kill that is being done is mine. But first, this, my friends, is Raid Shadow Legends, an awesome RPG for your mobile device and PC. And just now, the Shadowkin, an awesome new playable faction, has arrived in the game. So let me show you something. Use my QR code here on screen or the links down below to download Raid yourself to your mobile device or PC. As you can see, the Shadowkin follow the mythos of medieval Japan with some Eastern Asian influences. Nimble ninjas, sharp samurais and ominous oni, and no one has heard from them in over a hundred years, until a few months ago when they revealed themselves as allies of the dwarves. Are they good? Are they bad? Why have they returned and why now? They've only just arrived, so get ready for new members as they arrive in the game. And let me show you my three favorites. This is Jensen, who almost looks like a Sith Lord to me, and his attacks allow him to re-attack multiple times. This nicely looking life taker has the ability to prevent enemy healing. Taragi the Frog, a massive tank that has the ability to shield and protect his allies while healing himself. Here's something I like a lot about Raid. The market refreshes its stock every hour, or you can do it yourself by using gems. And these offers in the market are super helpful when trying to fully equip a champion of yours to activate its set bonuses. In this case, I was able to, thanks to the offers from the market, get offense, defense, and life set bony activate. Raid just had its second year anniversary, and therefore until the middle of April this month is packed with events and tournaments. Not to forget the clan versus clan tournament that you can still participate in, right? But most of all, later this month the new Doom Tower rotation with two new tough bosses will arrive, so it's really the perfect time to jump into the game. And in that spirit, see the inbox button up here in the top right? This is where you're gonna find your awesome welcome pack if you start playing Raid using my links down in the video description and pinned comment, or by scanning the QR code here on screen within the next 30 days. Then 100,000 silver, 50 gems and 3 ancient shards along with this amazing champion called Yotun are yours for the taking. So come find me in the game under the name Manny G. Alright, so guys, let's go and have some tremendous fun. The first two opponents are Falcons, which is not a bad choice to spawn. The thing is though that I have a weapon that bypasses resistance. And one more thing that the Gauss and Volt can do ex excellently well is stealing kills. You bypass resistance, you activate double damage and BOOM! You make a hit in a scale that no other web up, set, a setup can really do and you're always the one getting the kill. Even up to 800 meters range, you can be the one to get the kill, always, right? And that is very useful. Now I'm activating double damage here, and bam, fully recharged. The guy's almost done. My overdrive isn't yet running, but we're recharging 25% faster, so bam, there he goes. Without the overdrive, it's like 130% more damage, so altogether like 230%. But once the overdrive activates, then we're literally at 320 or 310% damage. Uh, so that's the goal, to get this to run. And I'm just controlling the entire map from here. <laughs> this is the crazy thing about this, guys, is that I can have the map control over the entire area of the map from here with perfect cover for myself. And when things go wrong, I still have the ability to just use the uh, ability of the Hawk. Kill steal, boom, that's mine. Let's see what this Aochun, how much HP he has. Aha! He's low on health. You know what that means, right? You know I'm wearing the glasses and you know what that means too. That means we're gonna have a massively overpowered run here. And boom! This is why I say I'm playing unfair. I'm kill stealing. Everything. No one has a chance to get kills because I can take them all from any angle on the map. I can always get every kill and uh, no, no one can really kill me because I can jump around and I have the ability of the Hawk. In this case, I got unlucky uh, lockdown here with the lockdown ammo. But look at this damage. 
that was a triple damage hit, right? Overdrive is active now. The drone intensified damage is running and uh, boom, with a pilot skill, that is just insane. I can two hit kill that entire dude. Let's go for him. Let's first, let's first take out the, uh, the Blitz. He's the bigger threat, okay? We already gotten five kills. BAM! Beyond godlike, no problem. Then we still have the double damage, a uh, triple damage rolling fire. Boom! This fast. I just killed a dude. Three seconds later, I almost killed a guy in one hit with a, with a, a thing. And then I finish him off another three seconds later um, with the setup. This is just, this is just so unfair. I am so unfair right now. I feel like it's, it's I feel like I'm cheating. <laughs> Seriously. Bam. Ah, that was smart. Enemy 2, that was a very smart move because you would have almost died right there, dude. You would have almost died. My estimate, he would have had about 20% health after that hit. He may have already lost a weapon even, right? Uh, and so he face shifted through the shot. Very smart, my friend. That was a good move. So he's not, he doesn't dare to come out of his cover. He knows what happens if he does. The amount of damage he takes in that one hit, it kills him pretty much instantly. Right? So, he, so he, bet, he better just not comes out. And I'm already seeing my next kill, so I ignore him and BAM! It's so cheating! It's so cheating! Dude, if you think this is cheating, guys, leave a comment down below and tell me that this is cheating. And also, if you like the video content and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, oh my gosh, then subscribe now and hit that notification bell, guys. Did you see him? He was ready for the face shift. See, he's face shifting now, but he face shifted 0.1 second too late. And look how much damage he took in that one hit. Now you know why he face shifted before. He knew what was about to happen if he doesn't do it in time. Here, this guy, bam, I hit him pretty hard down below under the bridge. And there he spawns, Zack, and he lost half his HP again. He just respawned a fresh phantom and he got one hit and he lost half his HP. Bam, Thir that's 75% of this guy gone in one hit. It's so unfair. But look, this guy, he's invincible. Let me show this to you. Hold on, hold on. I'm activating double damage. Check, and I fire immediately from now. Boop. Zero damage, even though I was in range. Somehow the game screwed me here and didn't count my shot. Again, he's just, he's just invincible. This guy is just invincible. I don't know why. Bam. This time I actually hit him. That's good to know. Can I finish him off finally? Boom. All right, here we go. Rampage. 11 kills. We already had a living legend and now we have a rampage again. And see, this is a 100% HP leech. Is this a leech with 100% HP? Okay, no more. He's like 75% now. And bam! My kill! <laughs> so crazy. It is so lame. It is so lame. If you play this map and you have me in the enemy team, like, you don't know in free for all but um, if I am there with this setup and this map pops up, there is no way to win. Look, now I'm taking down this Titan real quick here with uh, Overdrive doing double damage. Rups, there you go, Titan. That's it. The enemy is coming in. He thought that was a good moment to come in and attack. And I'm like, nah, man. Bam! And I dropped his uh, cloaking unit. But I didn't really give him a good hit somehow. I don't know why. But yeah, so this is Manny Gaming playing as unfair as War Robots allows me to do it. This is just crazy, man. And the music is going nuts. Pam, I corner fired him once, right? And now we see a little bit of a trouble coming in my way. We have an Arthur coming our way, and we know there is a Hawk over in the other side of the map. Now the Hawk wants to kill me, the Arthur wants to kill me, and I have no last stand, and I'm at low health. So they could technically kill me really easily and fast. And uh, I know that they will both jump on me. As soon as I engage in combat, the other guy will come. So I have to play very smart. And I was sitting here like, okay, 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 Manny, think, think. How are we gonna do this? I have to stay in cover when I fight the author because otherwise the other hawk is gonna nail me down afterwards. So how do I do it? And then I came up with a plan. I, I wanted to lure him through this narrow area, jump, and then use my flight ability 
to from above sh bypass his shield from above kill him and then land behind this structure right here in cover from the hawk so let's see if that works that was the plan okay let's go with the with the music and see if my plan works out Woo! yeah it works boom right above his shield and then landing in cover He's falling for it, he's coming, and then, when his resistance ends... BAM! And while falling... BAM! Woo! This is it, man. This is Manny Gaming playing unfair as hell. Yeah. Alright, so there is a uh, enemy... There's an enemy um, Minos over on the other side and he's playing careful. He doesn't want to engage uh, because he knows this would be dangerous. But I hit him once with triple damage and look at the damage he just took. <laughs> and uh, he had such a poop pile in his pants that he immediately did the emergency run. Um, and <laughs> oh man. So now it's again, I had to come up with a plan, right? Uh, because this is going to be a bit of a problem situation. If I jump on him, he activates his reflector and I can't kill him. If I uh, come t to the open field, he will just corner shoot me down. And uh, he's got cover, I can't hit him there. So, how do I engage this guy now? When he activates the reflector, I won't be able to do a lot of damage to him, I think. So, hmm. I'm trying to cross to the left. I'm trying to come from behind uh, this, this thing. This ca could allow me to fight him from cover. The problem is, even if I do engage him from cover with the Minos, he can always go with um, with a run. He has two running modes that bring him like 150 meters far, even around corners he can sprint, right? So even if I was behind this structure, I wouldn't actually be safe there. He could just run once, run twice around it, and then he's behind me and kills me. So that was a very dangerous and very uh, very difficult spot to be in. I'm trying to f uh, jump to the right and see if I can hit him. Right? I'm trying to make him go to the other side so I can outmaneuver him. And here we go. Pop. Fire tank. And then activating the reflector. Uh, the, uh, the laser beam against this reflector. And thanks to the big hit I did first, I was able to take him down. Let's just repeat that real quick. Right? This guy wants to corner shoot me. So in order to get him, what I do... I walk to the left so that he wants to go further out. And when I notice his legs are turning, then I immediately go to the right, jump hit him incredibly hard. And uh, when he's hit very hard, afterwards I have triple damage going. And then I hit him with everything I've got. So after the jump, the big alpha damage from, uh, from Gauss and Volt, plus then the thing. Let's see how this looks, okay? Yeah! It worked like a charm, man. Bam, 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 bam. We're not done yet. Because he respawns one more and triple damage. Bam! This is so unfair. This is so unfair, man. Yep. That's it, guys. And you know what? That was even on my own account. This is my own hawk on my own account that you have. It, you, you see, it's not uh, look who's talking uh, or who's stalking. This is just the Manny. This is my own Warabots account. Uh, and I have this, this crazy hawk right there. Um, and uh, yeah, this is just... Again, I, I must stress this. This was playing unfair. This is not a fair play. This is foul play. Um... But there are not too many maps where you can do this, right? There, This is like something for Springfield Canyon Yamantau. There, you can do so unfair with this setup. On other maps like Dead City, Power Plant, Valley, you won't be able to be that effective. Uh, but on, uh, on those three sniper maps, um, this setup is so incredibly unfair. And you've seen here, there's only four kills that were done by someone else. Some other people immediately exited the match. They were like, ah, screw this, I'm out of here. Um, and they were gone. And then there is these two guys to, uh, who, have, uh, who have no kills together with the lever, right? Zero kills. And these two guys, these champs only got two kills. 
we're playing in the Champions League. This is not, not everybody here is a noob. It's just that they couldn't do anything against the setup. And uh, even if they had a Scorpion or whatever, on this map, it's not really very useful. And uh, they got four kills together, two kills each. And I have 18 kills. I did 4.4 million damage. And this guy even did a lot of damage too, but he couldn't get the kills because I stole them. I stole all the kills at max range. So, man, this is out of control. An incredibly unfair setup. And um, I must admit, quite a lot of fun to play on a sniper map. So tell me what you think in the comments. Go ahead, you can destroy me in the comments, guys. I, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for it because it, I, I guess it's justified. This was so unfair. You can go and co come into the comments and just destroy me right there, guys. Do it. I deserve it for doing this much unfair uh, playstyle here. But uh, yeah, also, um, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. We'll see each other in the next video. And um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't done it to the channel yet and you want to see more fun content. So see you in the next video, man. Uh, Manny out. Bye-bye.